Yes, around uh, 5.36, sometimes 6.30. <laughs> um, first, how does your day look like? And what is the place of work? Okay. Um, my days are also varied. Um, most times, I'm not an, a morning person. My husband used to pray for a Proverbs 31. It's still a prayer request. But David, Please join your husband. But David also prayed to God in the evening and he had his prayers. But anyway, I wake up and, 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 and uh, yes, around uh, 5.36, sometimes 6.30. Um, um, and, and I spend my mornings with my children, we have breakfast together, um, then I go to, I have uh, an amazing privilege of living where I work. So work is two minutes away, I work. So I'll have my morning with my children and then go to, go to work. If I'm in the office, I'm in the office with meetings and things. If I'm seeing patients, it depends on where my boss has put me. Sometimes it's the emergency department, sometimes it's a general outpatient. Sometimes it's a palliative clinic. Then, um, yeah, that's Monday to Friday, really. Uh, every fourth night, I'm working overnight as well. So those are the difficult times, because, um, yeah, sometimes I'm sleep deprived, but that is it. Um, on hard work, God created us to work. And that's what he did. He worked for six days and rested on the seventh. Um, there is no shortcut. And even at your workplace, or, or even in class, or wherever it is, ask yourself, am I working as unto the Lord? Because that's what he tells us. That's what Paul tells us in Colossians 3. It's what, 23, 24. Work as unto the Lord. Just do that hard work. There's no, there's no shortcut. On the flip side, and, and this I get to see when I'm working in the outpatient, is very many patients who are getting burnt out. And you ask them, are you resting? Remember God actually took one day to rest. And, and as, as I say, we need to work hard. Work hard. But follow God's example of taking one day to rest. Um, some time back, my husband had a terrible burnout. Early this year, I also had a burnout. And it was that, because I was a student doing my masters and a mother and working and many other things. And every free time, there's something to do. There's something to do. There's something to do. But please, I'd, I'd urge us, work hard, but plan to rest that one day as God did. And use that day to refresh and reflect on God and, 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 and just get renewed in his presence. But I'd say work hard. Just while well, Steve will have the mic and then I come to mm -hmm. Yoga. When you think about God, and we've said quite a bit about God, his desire, what he desires for us, and what success is uh, in that sense. What has that meant for you in your work? What is that one thing that defines a lot of what organizes your pursuit for success? Because wanting to do a good job is really wanting to succeed. You know, what that one thing, I asked the other colleagues to comment on that, uh, but they hadn't asked you. What is that one thing that really defines you as a perspective of God's way? I think it just goes back to what I had said earlier. John 17, 4. I have brought you glory by completing the work that you gave me to do. And, and, and part of what that has meant for me is actually just taking time out in, 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 in um, Mlimani, how do you call it? those prayer centers, huh? and just taking time out to sit and reflect and fast and pray, God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? The Fellowship of Christian Unions, reaching students, changing nations.